um, Ibtisam joins us. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Welcome to another lesson of Medina Book 1. Today we will be studying at Dosul Khamis, the fifth lesson. Last lesson we started on page 27. We read the conversation. Um, today we're not going to reread it, but I'm, I want to quickly do a, a quick recap. Okay. Um, we, yes, we studied uh, four lessons now, the previous four lessons. Um, from what we've studied, we've taken the Mubtada and the Khaba. Now, going through the homework, I noticed that there was quite there was quite a common mistake, which was putting one Dhamma, so taking the Tanween off, um, the Khaba of the sentence. Okay, so remember when you have a, a sentence like, for example, Al Qalamu Maksurun, we're saying the pen is broken. Okay, maksurun has the tanween on the end. The khaba has the tanween. Okay. Um, also, we've taken haruf al jar. Um, Latifa, could you remind me what are the um, four letters of jar that we've studied so far? Um, min. Min. Yeah. Ila. Ala. Ala. And man. Uh, man? No. The man is who? Min is, is from, isn't it? Oh, fee, in. In, exactly. Are you cheating? No. Okay, cool. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I just saw the message from Ibtisam saying she's coming. That's all. Oh, so, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Because I'm, I'm scrolling up and down on the PDF, I don't get to um, pay attention to who's here and who's not here. So if he turns up, do let me know, please. Sometimes sure. uh, students will turn up and I'll just, they'll just sit quietly in the background and I don't even know they're there. Okay, um, yeah, so exactly, we studied fi and ala and min and illa from the haruf al jar. Okay, um, right, let's get on with today's lesson at Dosul al Khamis. Um, we, from Ibtisam. what I remember, Ibtisam's here? Yes. Welcome, Ibtisam, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very well, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, how are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. I'm glad you could make it. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, good. It looks like you've got your camera on, um, Ibtisam, so you could just uh, switch that off. No need for it. There you go. Oh, no, you've gone out. You've left us. Wrong button, maybe. Okay, guys, so let's continue, inshallah. So, a very, very important uh, lesson, this one, at Dawus al Khamis. We're looking at the Mudafun and the Mudafun Ilay. Did anybody revise this? Did anybody revise the video? Can anybody tell me what the Madafun and the Madafun Ilayhi is? Anybody? Possessed and possessor. Yes. Okay. Can you give me an example, please? Welcome back up to Sam. Go ahead, Zahira. Give me an example, please. Okay, thank you. Um Kitabu. That would be the possessed. And Muhammad yep. would be the possessor. Exactly. So that which is possessed or owned or belongs to something is known as the mudaf. So in that example there, kitabu is the mudaf, whereas Muhammadin is the owner or the possessor known as the mudafun ilay. Okay, I want to quickly go through the different examples that they gave us in this conversation. From the first line, sisters, you can see it says kitabu Muhammadin, Muhammad's book. Here also kitabu Hamidin, Hamid's book. On the third line, Kitabu Muhammadin, Muhammad's book. On the fourth line, we can see no, there's no Mudafun Ilay there, and Mudafun Mudafun Ilay. Uh, here we can see Daftaru Ammarin, so Ammar's notebook. You can see every time the Mudaf comes first and the Mudafun Ilayhi comes second. Here we've got Maktabil Mudarrisi. Okay, now why did Maktabi end with a Kasra that time? Because it was preceded by Harf al Jar. Okay, so we say Ala Maktabi al Mudarrisi. Maktabi is Mudafun and al Mudarrisi is Mudafun Ilay. Um, and then also we talk, um, another important thing is when we say Ya Zuhaira, Ya Fatima, Ya Latifa, when we use the Ya, the Ya al Munada, the Ya of calling, we lose the Tanween. So usually Aliyun has tanween, but now it doesn't because of the ya. So we say, ya aliyu. 
even right up to the top line again, it says, yeah, yeah, siru. We lose the tanween. When we use the ya, yeah, we lose the tanween. Okay, what other examples do we have for mudafun and mudafun ilay? We have qalamu al mudarrisi, the teacher's pen. Haqibatul mudarrisi, the teacher's bag. Okay? So, is everybody clear with the concept or the, I don't know if concept is the right word, with the grammar ruling um, of madafun and madafun ilay? Does everybody understand it clearly? If I want to, for example, say uh, the student's pen, I would say qalamu at-talibi. Qalamu is madafun and at-talibi is madafun ilayhi. All right, okay, we're going to move on. By your silence, I, I understand that to mean, yes, you understand. So good. Mm. Here we have ajib anil as'ila til atiyati. Answer the following questions. And this is what we reached last lesson. Okay, so it says, the first question says, Aina kitabu Muhammadin. Then we go by, the sometimes we go by the text, sometimes we don't. Um, it looks like we can go by the text. Yes, it looks like we can go by the text here. So um, I've written your names in this order, Matsuma, Latifa, Zuhaira, and Ibtisam. What I have to do when I run these classes, I have to keep an eye on the PDF and scroll up and down. At the same time, I have to keep an eye on the, the, the Hangouts um, page to see, I do try my best to see who's here and who's not here and that everything's running smoothly. I then check the YouTube page as well to see um, if, if there's anybody watching live. Or, or anybody's posted any questions. Um, I then have your names written in my diary, and, I, and then I make sure I alternate in order. Um, plus I have the book in front of me as well. So a lot of things going, going on on my end too. So anyway, that's just a bit of um, irrelevant information for you guys. Um, anyway, so we have Matsuma, Latifa, Zuhaira, and Ibtisam. We're gonna start with Matsuma. So please Matsuma, could you read the question, translate it, and then answer the question and translate it please. Yes. Aina Kitab Muhammadin. Excellent. Where is Muhammad book? Exactly. Uh, it's on the chair. Uh, it's on the desk over there. MashaAllah. Excellent. Very, very good, Matsuma. Okay. Latifa, your turn. Go ahead. Um. Aina Kitabu Amarin, um, where is the book of Amar? Um, yep. Huwa Alal Maktabi Al Mudarasi, it is on the teacher's desk. Okay, good, excellent. Um, in the text it says Daftaru Amarin, right, which we translated to mean a notebook. Uh, but I guess it could be a type, it could be a type, I mean, a notebook is a type of book, isn't it? So I guess it's not wrong. But well, the question says, where is Amma's book? But there's nothing um, in the text from what I can see, sisters, that, um, that indicates that Amma actually has a book and not a notebook. Um, anyway, we're, we're not too interested about the technicalities of the story, the conversation. The most important thing is that we've understood everything um, grammatically in terms of the Arabic language. So very well done. That was excellent, Latifa. Okay, go ahead, Zuhaira. Next one. Aina I repeat that, please. Yes. Okay, good. So where is the mudafun in the sentence? Mudafun uh, being possessed. Um, What's being owned? The, the bag. Um, okay, good. Haqibatu, sir. And where is the mudafun ilayhi? The, mud the madrasati? I'm um, sorry, the mudar... Yes? The madrasati. I'm struggling to hear you, um, Zahira. The desk. <laughs> um, so al mudarasi means the teacher, right? Yeah, the teacher, sorry. Mudarisi, the teacher. Did you say al Mudarisi or al Mudarisu? I'm trying to Zuhaira. figure out if it's a woman. <laughs> okay, so, so basically, Hatibatu 
is the mudafun, is that which is owned or, be, or belongs or belongs to something. And al mudarrisi is the owner, is the possessor. So um, we said that haqibatu is mudaf, ends with a dhamma, and al mudarrisi is mudafun ilayh and ends with a kasra. Okay? And so, yes, al mudarrisu means the teacher. If we wanted to make it a female teacher, we would add a, a ta mabuta in the end, and it would become al mudarrisati. Okay, we had that letter, the same, the same letter you can see on the end of Haqibatu, that same letter there, the Ta Mabuta, we would add on the end of Al Mudarris and okay. it would become Al Mudarrisati. Yep, so where is the teacher's bag? And the answer is? Bag, uh, here, Tahd al Maktabi. Um, Very good. Under the desk. Good. You, you seem to sort of fade as you get towards the end of the sentence, you, you kind of fade, and I can't hear the end. Oh, sorry. Um, here, here, Tahd al um, maktabi. Okay, good, good. All right, well done. Um, okay, moving on to the fourth. Oh no, they've only given us three questions here. All right, fair enough then. Let's move on to page 28. Before we continue, any questions at all? All right, next page here. What do we have? We have Kitabun, we have a book, and we have Muhammadun. We have Muhammad. So what do they want us to do? They want us to make uh, to connect them and, and make that and form that relationship between the two words. So they want the first word to be the mudaf and the second word to be the mudafun ilay. So as as they've as you can see, they've made it kitabu Muhammadin, Muhammad's book. Over to the left, we've got maktabun, a desk, and we've got al mudarrisu, the teacher. So you can see al mudarrisu. There's no tanween. There's only one dhamma. Okay. So we say maktabul mudarrisi, the teacher's desk. Okay, so you can see at the top here, Muhammadun started with Tanween. And then we said kitabu Muhammadin, ended with Tanween. And uh, al mudarrisu ended with one dhamma without Tanween. And then we say maktabul mudarrisi. And al mudarrisi also ended with one kasra, yani with, without uh, Tanween. Okay. So now what we're going to do is the obvious and just complete these lines and say, um, you know, uh, form the mudaf and mudaf and ilay. So could you go ahead for us, please, Ibtisam? Do the first one. I see. I like kitab Muhammad. Um, say that again. It's just, it's just going to be both just the two words. So it would be qalamu. I can't see the sentence. I, I see. I like kitab Muhammad. Okay, I see. I think we had the same problem last week, didn't we? Oh, so bad. Um, we're on page twenty-eight now. Are you are you using my screen to, to um study from? Yeah, your screen. Yeah. Okay. Is there, is there no way you can open the PDF or um? Where do you live, it to Sam? Tanzania. Where is that? Tanzania. Where Where is that? Africa. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. Um, thanks for that. Okay, mashallah, tabarakallah. Um, what about now, Ibtisam? Can you see the? Can you see my screen yet? Qalamun and Hamidun is at the top right of my screen. No, I can't. Why? Why do you think that is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, please, Matsuma. Matsuma. Yes. Go ahead, please. Qalamun Hamidun. Uh, Qalamu Hamidin. Very good. Meaning? Uh, Hamid's um, pen. Very good. We're going to go right and left, right and left. Okay, so over to the left. Go ahead, Latifa. Um, Miftahul Beiti. Um, the house yeah, key. Yeah. Very good. The house key. Okay, good. Go ahead, uh, Zuhaira. Beitun. Uh, Beitun. Abbasun. Yeah, so we have Baytun and Abbasun. Let's make the sentence. Abbas is out. Yeah, let's, let's um, connect them though. So the Mudafun and Mudafun Ilay. Oh, okay. Um, Baytun Abbasin. Excellent. Oh, Meaning? Um, Abbas is out. Excellent. Well done, Zahira. Okay. Ibtisam, are you here? Ibtisam? Yeah, Gurfatu, 
Aliyun. So we're going to go towards the left, okay, to Sam. So over to the left, we've got Dukanun. Uh, Dukanun Tajirun. Okay, so we want to connect these two words, uh, Ibtisam. So the relationship is mudafun and mudafun ilay. Dukanu uh, tajirun. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just repeat what I've already explained, Ibtisam. So, okay, so please pay attention, all right? Here we have dukanun, which means a shop, yeah. and we have tajiru, which means the businessman. So now what we want to say, we want to say the businessman's shop. Okay, we want to make the dukanun okay. um, belonging to the to the businessman. We want it to make it the possessed, okay, that which is owned. Okay. And we want to make the atajiru, we want to make the atajiru the possessor, the owner of the shop. Okay, so what we do, we say dukanu, so we lose the, the tanween on dukanu, and we say dukanu with one bamma, and that's going to be known as modafun. And we say atajiri, and so we end atajiri with a kasra, and that's known as mudafun ilay. So dukanu atajiri, the businessman's shop. Okay, dukanu is mudafun, and atajiri is mudafun ilayhi. Okay, yes. Go ahead, Matsuma. Next one, please. Rofatu. <clears throat> yes. Uh... Ghurfatu Aliyin. Uh, it's Ali's room. Uh, okay. it's... Uh, yes. Go ahead, uh, Matsuma. What do you want to say? Yeah. I, I, I read the next one too. No, that's okay. That, that will do. Thank you. Latifa, read the next one, please. Baitul Muhandisi. Um, the engineer's house. Perfect. Very good. Zuhaira, next one. Um, what number yes. is it? Is it Duff? Yeah. You got to pay attention. Come on, you got to pay attention. Latifa just read Baytul Muhandisi. So we're on Duff Taru. Duff Taru Sta'idun. Naam? Duff Taru Sta'idun. Okay, so we want to make it Madafun and Madafun Ilay. Duff Taru Sta'idun. Sta'idun. Okay, yeah, daftaru ending with a dhamma and saeedin ending with the kasratain, the two kasras. Okay, good. Uh, Ibtisam? Ismu walidi. Ismu waladi, yeah, meaning? The, the name of the student. Um, so, what does al waladi mean? Does it mean student? No, no, kid, kid. The name of the kid. Yeah, the boy, yes? The boy. So, yeah, the, boy. Yeah, the boy's name. The boy's name. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay, and Matsuma? Yes. Mandilu uh, Yasirin. Yasir's tissue. Repeat that, please. Mandilu Yasirin. Yes, the yeah. meme. The yeah, meme, is it, does it have a kasra or fatara or dhamma, the meme? Mandil, uh, Zama? No, sorry, Kasra. Uh, yeah, Kasra, okay, good. All right, uh, next one, inshallah. Go ahead, uh, Latifa. Kitabullahi, the Book of Allah. Inshallah, good. Go ahead, Zahira. Qamis uh, Ammarin. Good. Good, Qamisu Ammarin. Good. It's very simple, isn't it, sisters? The first word ends with a dhamma. The last word ends with a kasra. Khalas. Yeah. Easy, man. Very easy. Good stuff. Okay, Ibtisam. Bintu tayyibati. Tayyibi. At-tabibi. Bintu at-tabibi. Good. The, Meaning? The doctor's girl. Yes, the, the doctor's daughter or the doctor's girl. Doctor's Correct. Yeah. Well done. And also, just remember that the ta oh on At-Tabibi, the ta is a sun letter. So we drop the alif and we drop the, we drop the lam in pronunciation and we say bin tut ta or bin tut tabibi. Bin tut tabibi. 
Okay, so we drop the alif and lam in pronunciation. Okay, go ahead, uh, Ma'asuma. Uh, yeah, go ahead, please. Sari Ruh Khalidin. Khalid's bed. Fantastic. And Latifa, go ahead. Miftahusiyarati. Um, the car key. Or the car yeah, exactly. key or the car key. Well, Miftahu is singular, so it's not keys. So, yes, yeah, okay. the, the key of the car or the car key. Excellent. Um, as for those watching on. Uh, live on YouTube. Remember, you can ask questions via the live chat. I'll try to um, immediately answer your questions. Um, for those not watching live, remember to leave a comment down below. Alhamdulillah. Uh, very well done, sisters. Moving on, we have a little exercise here. Um, what this, what's this exercise? It looks like they want us to read and um, they're going to test us with regards to um, our reading. Are we going to be reading correctly or incorrectly? Are we going to be, be reading the mudaf and ending the mudaf with a dhamma like we should or not? Are we going to be ending the mudaf on ilay with a kasra or with two kasras like we should or not? So here we go. Let's start with, um, uh, let's go to Zuhaira. Could you read the first sentence, please? Babu. Um, babu mudarasatu. Uh, very good. So now we've, we've studied the word al mudarrisu and we said that if we add the term abuta, just like you can see here, sisters, yeah, we could say al mudarrisatu, the female teacher. Okay. Um, the problem with this is that there's also another word that has the exact same letters and it's called, it's the school, al madrasatu. Al mudarrisatu has a shadda on the ra and the kasra. Al mudarrisatu. Whereas al madrasatu, meaning the school, has a, a sukun on the dal, madrasa, al madrasatu. Um, so sometimes it's, you can get muddled up between does it mean a female teacher or does it mean a school? However, as it says the door, I'm assuming they, they're after, or what, what, they, what they actually want is the door of the school. You could say the door of the female teacher, you could, but um, I, I think they want the door of the school. So could we just. Um, Understand this word to mean the school. Go ahead again, Zahira, please. So it's not al mudarrisatu or al mudarrisati because that means female teacher. Yeah, we want to say this. We want to say the door of the school. So babul madrasati. Babul madrasati. Very good. Okay, moving on to Ibtisam. Next one, please, Ibtisam. Next sentence. I can't see the screen. Okay, we're going to have to move on. Say that again, please, Ibtisam. So remember, Himaru, the, the ha has a, has a kasra. We say Himaru. Good meaning. The donkey's man. The donkey's man? Or the man's donkey. The man's donkey. I think the man will be quite upset with you if you if you if you say that um he belongs to the don the donkey. So yes, himaru <laughs> rajuli. Yes, the man's donkey or the donkey of the man. Okay, well done, Mr. Sam. I'm glad you could see the page. Go ahead, Matsu. My next one. Yes. Um, Beitu Hamidin, Hamid's house. So Beitu Hamidin, ha. Hamidin. Hamidin. Good. Okay. Latifa, go ahead. Si. Siyaratu. Siyaratul Mudiri. Um, the head teacher's car. Very good. Repeat in Arabic, please. Siyaratul. Not C. Si. It's not C. Si, it's say. Siyaratu. Oh. Siyaratul Mudiri. Very good. So there's a, there's a fatha on the scene and there's a shadda and a fatha on the ya. Sayyara. Okay. Well done, Latifa. Zuhaira, next one. Mindilu Ammarin. MashaAllah, go on. Latifa, you know, MashaAllah. Meaning? Ammar's tissue. Excellent. Okay, go ahead. 
ابتسام ايش مطالب اه تجيش الطالب او طالبي طالبي اوكي ريبيت ات بليز ايش مطالبي مينن ذا نيم اوف ذا ستودنت فيري جود مقسومه نيكست وان بليز بيت الله جاد هاوس ايوا جود اوكي لطيفه نيكست وان في كتاب الله ام ان ذا بوك اوف الله اوكي يس جود ريبيت ات بليز لطيفه في كتاب الله في كتاب الله اوه ما شاء الله ما شاء الله so yes we have fee which is half of jar which means the next word even if it's mudaf even if it's mudaf is going to end with a kasra because that's what the half of jar does it makes the next word majrur so we say fee kitabi and that's why we say sisters that mudafun um, can have a kasra can have a dhamma or a fatah depending on where it comes in a sentence it depends on where it comes in a sentence and here we can see that it comes after the half of jar So we say fi kitabi Allahi. So kitabi is mudafun and Allahi is mudafun ilay. Laftul jalala. Um, what they, what the, when we study the Arabic language, um, instead of saying Allah is mudafun ilay, it's quite, it's quite, it could be, it could be um, deemed as disrespectful to Allah's name to say Allah is mudafun ilay and to sort of play with the name in that sense when we're talking about you know, um, the grammar and things like that. So what they say is lafdu al jalala. It's just what they do and just out of respect. Okay. Move on to the next one. It's just, um, I'll, have to, I'll have to look up the actual precise def definition of that, uh, Latifa. Let me write that down now. Lafdu al jalala. I'll have to look up the... Um, the actual definition for that, and I'll post it in the group, inshallah, after exactly. the lesson. I mean, where you uh, I knew you were going to ask me that, Latifa. I knew you were going to ask me that. Mm. All right. So next sentence, and, and I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Always, um, I always um, welcome questions, okay, sisters? At any time. I'm only joking. Okay, so next sentence. Go ahead. Um, we've got Zuhaira. Um. Gosh, this one. Um, man. Easy, man. Easy. Man, okay, let's forget about the first word, yeah? You've got Beitu. Complete that. The Madafan, Madafan, Ilay. Beitu, Madrasati. Okay, you're saying Al Madrasati. There's no Tarmabut on the end, so it's the teacher. Beitu, Madrasatu. Oh, look, it's still, yeah, you still, if you go if you go to the top top of the line, it says Babul Madrasa T. Yeah, you've got Al Madrasa, which is the school, Al Madrasa Tu, Al Madrasa T, which is the school, and now here we've got Al Mudarrisu or Al Mudarrisi. So they're, they're, they're similar letters, however, the the harakat, the vowels are completely different. So Baitul Mudarrisi, what does that mean, Zuhaira? The teacher's house. Very good. So now what we've got to do is add that first word now. Man. If, if we said man, that would mean who. So it's not man. Min. Min, yeah. For, meaning what? <laughs> min beitil, min beitil, and I can barely hear you, Zahira. I can literally <laughs> barely hear you. I'm confused. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so... So we have the Mudafan and the Mudafan Ilay. Okay, so Beitu and Mudarisi, the teacher's house. So now all we're going to say is from the teacher's house. Min Beitil Mudarisi. We're going to say Min Beiti and Mudarisi from the teacher's house. Okay. And the next sentence, Ibtisam. Go ahead. Ala Maktabul Mudiri. Very good. Meaning? To the desk of the headmaster. Again? To the desk of the headmaster. So, ala, what does ala mean? Ala, two, or on. Okay, yeah, on. Ala means on. on. So, we've taken oh, fee, min, ila, and ala. Okay, on the 
headmaster's desk. desk. And Anna, what does what does Anna do to the next word, Ibtisam? Anna ah, on. <clears throat> yeah, what does it do? What effect does it have on the next word? Ah, it is harful jar. Yes, exactly. Mm. Again? Ala maktabil mudiri. MashaAllah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, moving on. Before we move on, any questions, sisters? Any questions? No. Okay, we're being commanded to read. Ikra. We're being commanded to read. We have, wow. We have 20 sentences to read. So we're going to read, translate, and alternate. Um, we're over, we're past halfway through this lesson. So let's try and pick up the pace. Let's, I want everybody to be um, alert. Okay, when it's your turn, try not to waste those precious seconds. You Sometimes when it's, your when it's somebody's turn, it's like the first five seconds or so, it's complete silence. So as soon as it's your turn, let's go, let's get started. Okay, so we just had Ibtisam. Let's go to Matsuba. If you could just read and translate, and then we're going to alternate, okay? Okay. Aina, Aina Baitul Mudarisi, Huwa Baidun. Where is the, where is teacher's house? It's far. Excellent, Latifa, go ahead. Al Quranu Kitabullahi. The Quran is the book of Allah. I had okay. a question about this. You know yes. how it starts with Al Quranu. Why yes. isn't it? Is it because of that thing you just said, laugh to Al Jalala, why you don't say Kitabil? Because why isn't uh, it Kitabi? So because it's Al Quran. It's the no? Uh, so, so Latifa? Yeah. So we say Al Quran, the Quran. Yeah. And now we're going to say it's the book of Allah. So we say Al Quran, the Quran, Kitabullah. Yeah. There's so, Kitabullah is all one word then. Is that why? No, it's not, it's not one word. We've got Kitabu is a word, and Allahi is the Laftul Jalala. Yeah, is the, is the second word. Okay, so Al Quranu. Remember, there's only two reasons why a word ends with a Kasra so far from what we've studied. Whether it is, the only time it ends with a Kasra is if it's preceded by Haf al Jar, which in this case it's not. And is it, and um, is it's when it's Mudafun Yeah, when it's Mudafun Ilay. The only word in this uh, sentence that's Mudafun Ilay is Lafjul Jalala. Allahi. Yes. So Kitab, there's no reason for Kitabi to end with Kasra because it's Mudaf, it's not Mudafun Ilay, and there's no Haf al Jar before it. So yeah. Al-Qur'anu Kitabullahi. The Qur'an is the book of Allah. Does that, does that answer your question, inshallah? Yeah, jazakallah khair. Ameen, wa yakum. Okay, let's keep, let's keep moving, inshallah. Any questions, please, ask away, no problem. Next one, let's go ahead. Who's next? Um, um, Zuhayra, sir? Yeah. Um, yeah. al -Kab. So I can't hear the end of the sentence as usual. Baytullah. So what is it? Is it Kasra? Is it Dhamma? Is it Fatha? What do you how do you pronounce the end of the sentence? Is it Baytullahu? Baytullaha? Baytullahi? What is it? Baytullahu. So remember, Baytu is Mudafun and Allahi is Mudafun Ilay. So we're saying the Kaaba is the house of Allah. So Allahun. Oh no, don't say Allahun, please. Please, Zuhaira. Can you correct it then? I just have multiple times. Baytullahi. Baytullahi. Okay. With a kasra, because it's madafun ilay. It's very straightforward. The madaf has a dhamma. The madafun ilay has a kasra. That's it. There's nothing else to it. The madafun has a dhamma. The madafun ilay has a kasra. The possessed and the possessor. Here we have Baytullah, Allah's house. The possessed and the possessor. 
Baytullahi. Al Ka'batu Baytullahi. Okay, so there's four of you. So your next sentence, um, Zuhaira, is going to be number seven. Ibn Ammarin Talibun, Wabnu Yasirin Tajirun. I don't want any mistakes on the next term, please, Zuhaira. Okay, so please uh, focus, and uh, I don't want any mistakes on the next turn, inshallah. Okay, go ahead, please, Ibtisam. Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah. MashaAllah. Meaning? Muhammad. We can just say peace and blessings be upon him. Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, the messenger of Allah. Very good. Rasulu Allahi, the messenger of Allah, Mudafun and Mudafun Ilay. Good. And go ahead, uh, Ma'asuma. خرج المدرس من غرفة المدير The teacher uh, went out of manager room or headmaster room Excellent. Yes, good, 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 brilliant So خرج is a three-letter verb which consists of three letters Each letter has fatha We say خرج المدرس so a verb, how do, we, how do you say verb in Arabic? Who knows? Feel. Fi'l. Yes, with the ayn. Fi'l. Okay, so, so the kharaja is the fi'l, the, the verb, and al-mudarrisu is the do of the verb. And we said that the do of the verb ends with a dhamma, always ends with, a, with the dhamma. It's always mawfur. We say al-mudarrisu. And what, how do we say the do of the, of the verb in Arabic? Fa'il. Exactly. So you've got, the, you've got the fi'l and you've got the fa'il, the verb and the do of the verb. So we've got kharaj al mudarrisu min, which is harf al jar, from. And then we have the mudaf and mudaf al ilay. Rufati. Rufati ends with kasra because of the min. Al mudiri ends with kasra because it's mudaf al ilayhi. I hope that all makes sense, inshallah. Okay, go ahead, uh, Latifa. Your turn. Have a bay. Oops. Oh. Sorry. It's because you moved it up too far, so it threw me. It's gone oh, off yeah, the screen. I'm too, I'm too fast, isn't it? I'm too fast. Okay, there Sorry, we go. Have a bay to Hamadin, Wazalika, bay to Khalidin. This is the house of Hamid, and that is the house of Khalid. Good. Khalid, huh? Khalid. Khalid. Oh yeah, but I guess you say Khalid in, in English, isn't it? That's the that's the translation. Khalid. Yeah. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, good. Uh, go ahead, uh, Zahira. Your turn. It's your, it's your, it's your moment, Zahira. Don't mess it up. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Begin at the beginning is a good place. Ibn. Um, Ibn, yes. Amarin. Yes. Talibu. Talibun. Talibun. Yes. Ibnu. I don't. I don't know how to read that. What? Okay, so we've got Ibnu. Yeah, but remember that Hamza tul wasl. That Hamza tul wasl. That alif. Yeah, we only pronounce it at the beginning of a sentence, so we ignore it. And we say Wabnu. Wabnu. Um, Yasirin. Yes. Tajirun. Perfect. What does that all mean? <laughs> so Amar's son. Okay, son. Ibnu. Um, Amar's yeah. son. The, yes. Um, the teacher, student. Is a student, that's right. And and Yasir's son. Yes, and Yasir's son is rich. It, it doesn't say Ghaniyun. Ghaniyun is rich. It says Tajirun. What's a Tajir? Merchant. Businessman. Businessman. Yeah. Okay. So we've got Ibn Ammarin Talibun. Ammar's son is a student. Wabnu Yasirin Tajirun. And Yasir's son is a businessman. Okay. 
So what does wabnu mean? And? So, so wa means and, and ibnu means son. Okay. Okay? All right. So moving on to Ibtisam. Go ahead, Ibtisam. Baytul mudarrishu ba'idun. Ah, did you say again? Sorry, again? Baytul mudarrishu ba'idun. Okay, thank you for that. Um, Ibtisam. Baytul, what is Baytul? Mudaf or Mudaf and Ilay? Mudaf. And where's the Mudaf and Ilay? Mudarrish. Okay, so is, does Mudaf and Ilay end with Dhamma or Kasra or Fatha? Kasra. Okay, so repeat the sentence, please. Baytul Mudarrish Ba'idun. Ah, you paused. You paused. Once again. Baytul Mudarrisi Ba'idun. Continue. Wa Baytul Tajiri Qaribun. MashaAllah, good. What does that mean? The house of the... Who's Mudarris? The house of the teacher is... And the house of the businessman is near. Excellent. Perfect. Well done. Okay, Matsuma, go ahead. Yeah. Hada miftahu miftahu sayyarati. Aina miftahu albayti. This is um, car's key. Uh, key of car, or I don't know. Yeah, this is the key <laughs> of the car or the car key. Yeah. Yes. And where where is uh, a house key? Excellent. So, and where is the house key? Okay, very good. And go ahead, Latifa. Um, man anta ya waladu, ana ibnu abasin. Um, who are you, O oh boy? Um, I am the son of Abbas. Excellent. Well done, Latifa. Excellent. Very impressive. Okay, Zuhaira, go ahead. Wabnu man huwa. Good. Um, huwa ibn Khalid. Khalid ish, Khalidan, Khalidun, Khalidin. Khalidun. Oh, so it's not ibn Mudaf and Khalidin. Mudaf and Ilay? Yeah, Khalidin. Okay, so what does that all mean then? Um, I'm confused with the Wabnu again. Um, okay, so wa means and, and ibnu means son. So, and whose son okay. is he? So, wabnu man basically means and whose son, because man means who. So, or, or you could say and son of who is he. But in English, we were just saying whose son is he? Who are meaning he. And then who abnu khalidin. He is the son of Khalid, or he is Khalid's son. Okay, well done, uh, Zahira. Okay, good. Go ahead, Ibtisam. Aina? Where is Aina? Aina, where is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Where is the mosque of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Who is in Medina? This is in Medina. Munawwa. Very good. Very good. Aina, masjid. Rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam huwa fil madina til munawwarati. Okay, let's just go back to the first few words of the sentence. We've got aina, where? Then we have masjidu. So where is the masjid or the mosque of Rasulullah? Okay. Now, if we say Rasulullah means the messenger of Allah, the masjid begot, be, belongs to who? To the messenger of Allah, sir. Mm. So it's safe to say, and I'm speaking to all of you sisters, okay? It's safe to say that the masjid is the possessed and Rasulullah is the possessor. People even refer to the messenger, Ya Rasulullah, or in the time of the Prophet, وسلم, I mean, the, the companions would say, Ya Rasulullah. Yeah, the, the Prophet, وسلم, He's referred to as Rasulullah. So it's safe to say that the masjid belongs to Rasulullah. 
Okay? So that means Rasul is mudafun ilayh. So we say Masjidu Rasuli. Masjidu Rasuli. The Masjid belongs, is the mudaf, and Rasuli is the mudafun ilayh. So we say Masjidu Rasuli. However, at the same time, Rasuli also belongs to Allah. So here we have Rasulillahi. So in, in these three words, sisters, the Masjidu Rasulillahi, the Rasul, the word Rasul in this sentence is Mudaf and also Mudafun Ilay. It's Mudafun Ilay in relation to Masjidu. We say Masjidu Rasuli. So Rasuli is Mudafun Ilay. And it's also Mudaf because it's Rasuli Allahi. It's Mudaf to Lafdu Al Jalala. Allah, Rasulillahi. I hope that makes sense. So we have Masjidu is Mudaf. We have Rasuli, Mudafun Ilay. And then we have Rasuli, which is Mudaf, and Allahi, Mudafun Ilay. Um, if it doesn't make sense right now, it doesn't, doesn't matter too much right now. Um, but I hope it does. If it doesn't, you can always re revise this video. And inshallah, in time, it will, get, it will become clearer. Let's move on, inshallah, for the sake of time. We've got about 10 minutes to go. So, um, who is next? Is it Matsuma? Yes. Bin to Han Madrisati Rabin to Muhammad Jamiati. Excellent. Meaning? Thomas' daughter uh, is, a, is at school? Is in? Is in school? Yep, in the school. In the school, and Muhammad's daughter uh, is in the university. Excellent. Okay, go ahead, Latifa. Next one. Ismul Mudarisi Sa'i. Is it Sa'idin or Sa'idun? Well, remember, we said um, it will only take Kasra for two reasons if it's got a half food jar before it, or if it's Mudafun Ilay. It's not Mudafun Ilay. And Mudarisi is Mudafun Ilay. Okay, okay, so Sa'idun wa ismul muhandisi Khalidun. The name of the teacher is Sa'id and the name of the engineer is Khalid. Very good, very good. Excellent, Latifa. Um, Zahaira, did you understand that? What um, Latifa just read? I'm still catching up. Okay, where, catching up from where? The one that did. Okay, okay, Sorry, okay, let's move on, inshallah. So, um, Zuhaira, number 15, go ahead. Ammu. Ammu al-talib Okay, so it says Ammu al-talibi ghaniyun. So, Ammu means uncle, which is the, the brother of the father and not the mother. Because in English, we just say uncle, innit? For your mum's brother or your dad's brother, you say uncle. But in Arabic, we have a particular word for the maternal and the paternal uncles. So uncles from your father's side, basically your father's brothers, um, they are known as the am or ammu, uncle. So ammu talibi. So the, un the student's uncle, ghaniyun, is rich. The student's uncle is rich. Okay. And go ahead, Tisan, next one. Babul Masjidi Maftuha. The door of the mosque is open. Wa Babul Madrasati Ma'lukun. Mughlakun. Mughlakun. And the door of, mad of uh, school is closed. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Okay, go ahead, Matsuma. Yes. Khalu Hamidin Fakirun. Uh, Hamid's uh, aunt is poor. Um, Khalu Hamidin Fakirun. So Khalu, what does Khalu mean? I, I, I'm not sure it means aunt or it means um, like maternal uh, uncle, like brother yes. of mother. Yeah. yeah, so, so try, and, try and pay attention here, guys, okay? So here we have Ammun, 
Ammun means uncle, and Khalun also means uncle. Okay. However, Ammun is the brother of the father, and Khalun is the brother of the mother. The brother of the mother. Okay. Now, how do we say aunties? How do we say the auntie? So the sister of the father and then the sister of the mother. All we do, sisters, is we add the ta mabuta. So ammun means uncle and ammatun means auntie, all on the father's side. Khalun means uncle and khalatun means auntie on the mother's side. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Yes. And then we have eight, number 18. Go ahead, please. Uh, oh. Siyara. Not si, sayyaratu. Sayyaratun. Sayyaratun. Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, Latifa, go ahead. Sayyaratu abasin fi shari'i. Um, Abbas's car is in the street. Very good. But this time I want you to repeat it, please, Latifa. But remember, the sheen is a sun letter. Okay. So we drop the alif and the lamb in pronunciation. We say fishari. Fishari. Yes. Yeah, so repeat the sentence again, please. Saya ratu abasin fishari. Yep, fishari. Fishari. Meaning? Abbas's car is in the street. Excellent. Okay, page 30. Let's keep going. Ibnu. Who's next? Go ahead, Zahira. Ibnu. Ibnu man anta. Yes. Um, where's the child? Yeah, keep going, please. Oh, sorry. Um, Anna Ibnu Madrasa. Too. Okay, yes, you're still getting al madrasa too and al mudarrisu mixed up. <laughs> yeah, so Ibnul Mudarrisi. Mudarrisi. Okay, meaning? Uh, the teacher's child. So we've got, we've got Ibnul Man Anta. So whose son are you? Or the son of who are you? Okay, but we just say whose son are you? Anta meaning you. I believe is um is a uh, you know like is another pronoun that we haven't we're not too familiar with. We've taken hua and here, but we haven't taken anta many times, if at all, maybe once before. So anta, I seem to remember it, remember it being read once before. I think Latifa read it. So anta means you. Is another pronoun known as domir in Arabic. So whose son are you? And anab nun modarisi. I am the son of the teacher. I am the teacher's son. Okay. And then we have Rati, um, Ibtisam. Go ahead, Ibtisam. Aina al-Kalbu. Where is the dog? Huwa tahti sayyaratu. It is under the car. Good. Tahta is not from the haruf al-jar. However, it has the same effect because it's a preposition. So tahta means under, it's a preposition. So it has the same effect. The, sec the, the next word is madraw, ends with a kasra. Mm. So we say huwa tahta sayyarati. Huwa tahta sayyarati. Yeah, okay. okay. Right, which brings us to the next exercise. Now we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going for a couple more minutes. We probably won't finish this. So. Matsuma, number one, please. We need to complete the sentence. Uh, I, if I'm going, if I'm going to use the sentence similar to this. No, any, anything you want. Anything you want. Yes. Babul bayti mughlaqun. Repeat that, please. Repeat that, please. Babul bayti mughlaqun. Are you saying Beitin with Tanween? Beiti. No. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, good. and uh, the house, uh, the door of house is closed. Exactly. Good. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Latifa. Over to the left. Um, 
Aina Zainabu Zainabu Siarati. Where is Zainab's car? Um, if it was Zainab's car, that would mean the car is possessed and Zainab is the possessor. Wouldn't it? So we would say, say we would say Sayara to Zainab. We would say Sayara to Zainab. What that which is owned comes first, not last. Oh. Does that make sense, yeah? Yeah, it does, but I can't so you have to, have to ask something that belongs to the car. What can belong to the car? Okay. Aina what, what are you looking for? Just before you head out head out of the house, what are you always looking for? Aina Mifta Hussiarity. Yeah, say that again, please. Um Aina yeah. It still it still sounds like you're saying siyarati and not sayarati. Aina mifta hosayarati. Excellent, excellent. Meaning? Um where is the car key? Excellent. Well done, Latifa. Okay, and with that, inshallah, we'll end today's lesson. You guys hang around. Um, as for those watching on YouTube, please leave a comment down below. I hope you've all benefited, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah accept it from us. Wa jazakum Allah khayran. Wa sallallahu ala muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum.